Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Biofun with Shruti. So today we are going to use uh, aid, aid dry clay and we are going to make the model of mitochondria. So you can also use the play dough or uh, homemade DIY dough as well in order to make this. So let's start without making any further delay. In order to make the mitochondria, so I just took uh, two different balls of clay. Now let's start making the mitochondrial model. So for that first I am taking a clay model and just roll it in a cylinder. See first things first mitochondria contains two membranes. The outer membrane is uh, normal whereas the inner membrane is highly folded. So first let's make the inner membrane and fill it with all the matrix and all the things that it contains. Okay. So this is the inner membrane of mitochondria. Inner membrane of mitochondria generally has many number of folds. Okay. So it is filled with matrix as well and in the matrix there is you know DNA strands, tRNA and there are some enzymes called ATP synthase. Now using this enzymes and oxygen, mitochondria will produce ATP which are energy packets. Food enters in the form of its simplest form like glucose into the mitochondria and there upon combustion it will get converted into ATP using the ATP synthase molecules. Okay, so this is somewhat brief about mitochondria. Now let's make the inner membrane. Make sure that these parts are really really thin. Why? I'll tell you. So do not make the inner membrane very big because depending upon the inner membrane size itself we are going to make the outer membrane as well so in order to make the inner membrane first let's start with the ends the ends are like semicircle so once the ends are done the ends make your ends like the semicircle once your ends are done make the folds if you are folding this part of the mitochondria like this, make sure that the, the opposite side is plain. Now fold this part of the mitochondria towards the inner side. While you are flow, while you are folding it, make sure that there is some space in the fold so that it really looks like a fold. Okay. Now start. Right. So, in order to look like a fold, do not do like this. Do it like this. Okay. Now, let's make it opposite side normal and uh, we'll make a fold here. In order to maintain the gap, just insert your finger while you're making the fold. Okay. Now, let's make one more fold here. Now another fold here. Even though the mitochondria, you know, the inner membrane breaks, don't uh, do not get tensed at all because we are just doing these models with clay, and clay can be molded into any ways, right? Now we are making one more fold here, and so on. During the, I mean, towards the end, you do not have to make much folds. Uh, leave it in a semicircular way itself. Okay. So, ultimately, your mitochondria, uh, the inner membrane looks something like this. Okay. And uh, towards the down, whatever it's coming out, just fold it backwards. And your inner membrane of mitochondria is almost ready. So, here there are not, no much folds. Like, let's make some and make sure or be careful uh, just try avoiding uh, you know pressing of these folds right the semicircular parts of the end and your inner membrane is ready once your inner membrane of mitochondria is ready let's fill it with uh, the necessary things okay so first th first things first let's keep this clay out also uh, and make the outer membrane. Um, I just want to make the outer membrane fast because this is an air dry clay and it tends to get dried faster. So let's uh, make the outer membrane. After making it into a cylinder, press it in exactly at the center and uh, make sure you're making enough trough that the inner membrane exactly fits in. Okay. 
so your outer membrane must be bigger than the inner membrane okay like this so your in outer membrane is also ready but the only thing that you have to keep it in mind make sure that the in outer membrane is straight enough not curvy not fold uh, not having folds like the inner membrane okay yes your outer membrane is ready now just take this inner membrane put it in very carefully do not disturb the folds see this is the problem what happens is actually the clay tends to uh, you know get uh, it is it is very sticky so make sure you are doing this very carefully okay so what happened here some of the clay got stuck and i'm not able to insert this so what i will do is take some of the clay from the sides mask it like this now the outer membrane is not disturbed here i will take some more clay on this side mask it do not disturb anything on this side as well one most important thing is it is important to show that there is space between the outer and inner membrane because that is inner intermembrane space which is present between the outer and inner membranes of the mitochondria okay so this part is done and i have some extra clay in order to cover it on this side right just mask it like this right make it plain do not show any folds if you want you can cut it at the last right like this and you are most almost done this is the rough shape of the mitochondria now what we are doing we have to fill the inner parts of the mitochondria So in order to uh, avoid all these curves, right? I am actually cutting this. The outer membrane of mitochondria will not have any folds. So for that very purpose, I am just uh, you know removing all these folds by cutting the clay. right so let's remove all the debris away now this is your mitochondria the outer membrane as well as the inner membrane now in the inner membrane what all you have to fill let us fill them quickly we have uh, atp synthesis molecules for the atp synthesis molecules let me use uh, uh, some other random color i'm using violet here uh, the problem with the air dry clay is that it generally gets gets uh, it tends to get uh, you know it dries up very quickly let's take small small balls of uh, this clay like this and uh, atp synthases are actually the enzymes that help in the atp production and they are present in the matrix of the inner membrane you, which you can just line like this and apart from the atp synthase molecules in the dna uh, in the mitochondria you will also see some of the strands of the dna and uh, uh, trnas as well you just and there are some okay. so now uh, we'll also place these balls when and where they are required so we are just indicating that atp synthase are present all over the uh, inner surface of the mitochondria in plenty okay and apart from the atp synthesis we also have the ribosomes which are floating in the mitochondria and uh, yes uh, eukaryotes only have the mitochondria prokaryotes do not have mitochondria because prokaryotes basically lack all the membrane bound organelles okay so we just fill the yes atp synthesis molecules randomly uh, as we are making a clay model just enough to make uh, you know it is Uh, in order to make biology in most 
uh, fun way we can design it as per the looks and all you can just improve uh, your model as per your color combinations and all there is no such thing like uh, you have to use only these colors although this is not so good model i just wanted to show you all how you can make it okay so nowadays i generally do not have much time so i cannot actually concentrate on uh, making very very uh, poised models okay so yes this is the atp synthase molecule now once the atp synthase molecule is done it's time for us to show the dna in order to make the dna what you all have to do just take some clay make it into really really thin strands and uh, once you take two strands just twine them over okay uh in order to show the strands more uh, beautifully what you have to do take two different colored strands colored thin strands now touch i mean hold them with both the edges like this okay now hold the other edge as well just turn it twist it twist it in such a way that you can see them so even in case of dna right this is the main important thing they are uh, you know double helical structure is seen it is double stranded and it is helical model so you get the dna basically like this okay so just insert them here and there it they can be folded as well so at the semi circular parts there is much opening where you can actually insert them so i have inserted these strands like this and the other part of uh, two strands are basically enough now let's uh, take i to green color in order to show the ribosomes as well in order to show the ribosomes just make some small balls and uh, uh, fill them here and there you can uh, open up your mitochondria somewhat like this and fill them with more and more dna strands and ribosome balls okay yes i am keeping some ribosome walls and leaving them randomly from the top like this yes so somewhat it is looking somewhat like this so finally my mitochondria is looking something like this uh, make a roll of the same colored clay and uh, make a very big strand just keep it over so that you get a smooth finishing like this okay and the inner membrane is something like this my dry, uh, clay is just getting dried so i'm not able to make any more changes to this you can make several models and you can you know uh, make sure one mistake i did is i didn't uh, spread it enough uh, while it is you know smooth now it is becoming uh, uh, you know drier and drier so that i'm not able to just make it wide enough so uh, the mitochondria the crux of the video is this you can make the outer membrane like this inner membrane like this there must be some space between the outer and inner membranes the dna strands atp synthase molecules and the ribosomes and this is how your clay model of the mitochondria actually looks like thank you for watching